Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're uh, sisters in the kitchen, and um, we're just um, been having a good time this morning. We always do when we get together, and uh, we're just talking about the fall weather and the things that we want to do, you know, for you people and, and uh, what we're going to be making, and we're just excited this morning. It's, it's really good to be back. It seems like it's been a while, you know, and from yeah, Thursday to Tuesday, is. we're off quite a bit, and um, it's just it's just good to be back. Love it to is. visit y'all. And we're we're so glad that y'all have joined us. And thank you, little Linda, for letting us use your kitchen again yes. today. Yes, we got to get my internet. I still haven't got my internet straightened out. So Linda's being awful kind to let us film here on my days. So we're going to be doing uh, snickle, snicker doodles cookies today, which is a very simple recipe. That's so. a, that's some of your kids' favorite cookies, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and some so of the grandkids' good. favorite cookies. So. Um, and it actually, it's my. It's so simple. You can just mix up a batter so so quick. So anyway, so let me get a bowl. Uh, did you want to? Did, did uh, you want to talk to them a little bit, or you want to? Uh, well, I guess um, maybe get this started, okay. and then we can come back and okay. talk. Okay. Um, yeah, because we got a lot to tell y'all this yeah, morning. We will, we got some things okay. we want to talk about, uh -huh. and we're. Um, we're expecting a, a little cold front, actually the biggest cold front of the season to come through tonight and tomorrow. So um, that was my first thing on the agenda this morning was weather. Y'all know I'm a weather nut, so I'm always keeping uh, track of the weather. So what, Mary, are you coming back in here? Yeah. Okay. I was, um, I don't know how to do her microwave. <laughs> I want 25 seconds. So this I want time of year seconds. is a, really a favorite time of year for us. It's it's kind of bittersweet. Isn't yeah, it, it is. It is. I forgot to get your mixer out. You got your mixer. We're coming up on November the first, and for all of those who have read Mama's story, uh, the nine parts oh, yes, that we yes. have uh, on here on Facebook under our videos, and we also have it on YouTube. Uh, Y'all know that this is a, a, a sad time of year for us, but it's also a happy time because we love the fall, we love the holidays, and um, even though a lot of our memories surrounded around this time are not pleasant, yes, um, we choose to, to, um, to be happy because it's a beautiful season. And we've always loved Christmas. We've always loved Thanksgiving. So Mama taught us to look on the bright side. Yes. That's what we do. Yes. So do, you got your butter. I melted something? butter. I got melted butter. And now I'm going to add some sugar. I put my, I melt my butter first. And I'm trying to keep from dirty, but two bowls. Can you tell me what I need to do, Mary? All right. Um. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. Um, we watch the cooking shows on, on uh, Food Network. There's a couple on there that we watch, Cake Wars. And uh, I didn't last night I watched it, and I didn't feel quite so bad about my fiasco about the jelly roll the other day. After I watched these two shows last night, one of, and these are professionals, by the way, which y'all know I'm not, but. Um, I probably have as much experience baking as yeah. a lot of professional do, yeah. but I've never been professionally trained. But she, there was two things that happened. You know, on, uh, one thing on each show, you know how you temper eggs and when yeah. you're pouring stuff? Uh -huh. She scrambled eggs three times while she was trying to get this cake together and finally wound up throwing it out and not oh, even really? going back to it. On live? <laughs> on, 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 you're right, on the show. And then the other one, uh, they were making caramel and they burnt the caramel and they burn it and then they burn it again and they burn <laughs> it again. And these, both of these things are very easy to do. Yeah. But when you're live, you know, it's, it's a whole different ball game. Um, when you're live rather than when you're taping something. So oh, I know. didn't make me feel quite so bad <laughs> what I'd done the other day. I'm going to crack my eggs and beat my eggs a little bit before I put them in the... I 
love this size bowl, Mary. This is the little bowl on this stainless yeah, steel set. Yeah, I do too. I do it's too. a really good size. It's a um, two liter or eight cup, so it holds more than you think it does. And I like the the pour spout, and I like the handle on it too. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna beat these eggs with my a little whisk. I don't want to put my eggs in the uh, sugar and butter without, um, because I don't want that. Sometimes the sugar will cook the eggs. Have you ever heard of that? No, yeah. I don't guess I have. I heard that, don't know where, but I heard it long time ago. <laughs> that good. if you put eggs in the sugar, the sugar will cook the eggs. Yeah. I, heard, I don't know where I've heard that, but that's what I've always thought. So, so I'm going to put that in here. Yeah. Me and my rattling. If you want to stir that for me, Linda, please. Yeah. Well. Get this stirred up and incorporated real good. These bowls are so easy to clean, aren't they, Mary? They are. Good. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Now we're going to do the flour. We put all dry ingredients in um, in a bowl and mix your dry ingredients together. And the reason for that is because you don't want to, um, if, you, if you just dump it in there and then you put your uh, baking soda and your salt in there, you're liable to get a, in a cookie, you're yeah. liable to get a taste of salt real strong because it's not blended up good. So, Linda, if you'll measure me out two of those. Yeah, it's always best to whisk your, your ingredients together. I was looking for your salt. Oh, here it is. There's what I'm looking for. Let's see how much of this I can get on Linda's pretty table. <laughs> okay. And I'm also going to put my vanilla in with my eggs. Okay. Want another one? Uh, yeah, get two of those. Same one or different? Yeah, one? same one and then this one. Okay. <laughs> I made. I already made up a batch this morning. I love bacon this time of year. It always smells so good. I got a couple of cakes to cook for our neighbor next week too. Oh really? Yeah. I'm talking in my low voice again. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, I wouldn't put. Uh, and then I put some cream of tartar sauce in here. Not sauce. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> this is the other one. <laughs> you're, thinking about, you're thinking about tartar sauce. I know. <laughs> I want to tell you something. This cream of tartar the, and yeast was hard to find this time last oh, year. You remember? Yeah, I know, but I got me a bunch of bottles. Anyway, cream of tartar, not sauce. <laughs> I mean, people going everywhere trying to find yeast and trying to find cream of tartar. I've been trying to stock up on stuff I know I'm going to use. Um, and I'm not using a whisk. I'm just using this leveler to stir this. Just, it don't have to be. It, no, um, this baking soda, not baking powders, baking soda. And Mary, I looked in my cabinet. Yesterday, yeah. I've yeah. got I've got three big things of baking powder. Do you need baking powder? <laughs> <laughs> I got two. And I've got two or three little ones. Is that but right? I don't know why I was thinking. I guess I was thinking I was getting low, and uh -huh. I almost and I got down to one little one. And I guess every time I went to the store, I bought one. <laughs> so if you need one, let me know, and I'll bring you one. <laughs> I don't need any. That's it. Soda, salt, cream of tartar, and now I'm going to put this in here. 
and you don't want to stir you don't want to stir your mixture too yeah. long thank you I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stir it with this because it'll get stuck to my my um, whisk I'm gonna yeah. do it with the mixer yeah it's hard to get cookie dough off of a whisk so if you plug this in for me behind you there Linda please sure. and I'll get these mixers. Linda, have you ever tried to put the wrong, uh, you'll ruin your blacks. I did it years and years ago. I stuck the wrong one. The one that's got that little circle around has it to go in has that. to go in the in that position. In I that. always put that one in first, the one that's got the little so, thing oh, on Yeah, it. I, I try to too, uh, because it'll ruin your mix if you don't. And I just, I don't want to mix this much because the longer you mix uh, your batter with flour, after you put the flour in it, it, it kind of gets tough. So I'm not going to mix this, but I just want to mix it to get it mixed together. And all. then do you mix it with your hands? Um, do you mix it with your hands or no? Well, I, it's just, it's just me. I, I do it different ways. Sometimes I'm always so messy <laughs> in the kitchen. You wonder why I have to clean the kitchen when I get through cooking. <laughs> Did you bring your bowl scraper? Uh, no, I didn't, but I'll just use this little scraper okay. right here. I'm gonna, if you'll scrape the bowl, I'll go ahead and put the mixer up. Is that the little blue thing? Yes. Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah. <laughs> this I cookie dough looks good, Mary. Thank you, Linda. Well, this wasn't exactly what I was talking about, but it is, <laughs> it is a scraper. Yeah. But, um, have to have to bring you one of the bowl the uh, bowl scrapers. We preheated we preheated the oven to three seventy five. These little things are good for more than scraping. They're good for cleaning. Yeah. Your pots and stainless steel pots and Mike just loves these. I get you a pan and okay. I get those out of the way and here's our scoops. That's a really nice dough. You can always tell when cookie dough is good. This is nice, but you're supposed to refrigerate it for about an hour before you use it. So I mix up a batter, a batch this morning. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. So we're gonna, we won't be cooking all that today. I mean, well, I'm not sure what. There's the, this is what I mixed up this morning. So, and you can freeze this too. The cookie yes, dough. yes. All right, uh, so, so we're using different scoops. I've got the, this is the, uh, three, this is three tablespoons. Three tablespoons, and that's, uh, that's the two tablespoons. That's my favorite one there. I'd rather do all the cookies in that. I just, I just do. But I hope I hadn't let, <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick up. Because, I honestly, I didn't, when I made them the first time, I did not. Oh, you know what? Let me get a bowl. Just a minute, Linda. I got to get some, I got to get sugar and oh, cinnamon. Oh, that's right. You, that's right. I forgot about sugar that. Sugar and cinnamon. Uh, do you do the whole cookie? I guess you'll tell us when you get in here, yeah. won't you? Yeah. Um, you put, uh, Put sugar and cinnamon. This is our good cinnamon. I know. Are you get? Did you just have the one container? Yeah, right but I got now? I got a lot of order. I've got some <laughs> order too. But it'll be another two or three weeks before I get yeah. it. I'm being real careful with I mine because I don't have much. That's right. I don't have much either. I wasn't thinking about that. Oh, that smells so good. That's cinnamon and sugar. Do you want me to just put the balls on, on the tray here? Uh, you can, you can. And we just roll them in that tub. Cinnamon and sugar. I, I might not have got mine packed good. See, if you're home doing it yourself, you just roll it around in it. This cookie dough is real nice. Really? Stiff. Yeah. And 
Actually, it's been in there longer than an hour. The longer it stays in there, the... Yeah, if you keep it in there overnight, you're going to need to let it set out a little bit before you do, yeah. <laughs> you do your cooking. Honestly, what we just made up, it actually, uh, I didn't chill mine because I don't mix it a lot. So once that butter, the one reason is because that butter, when it gets cold, it it's, keeps your stuff together. I'm not going to put them too close together because they will spread out. Are we, um, how many are we going to do? You're probably you gonna get a, you'll probably get a dozen of that. Are you, can you get a dozen on that sheet? Yeah. Okay. Of uh, the little ones, not, not okay. this one. I'm going to go ahead and, and um, this that size cookies there with the scoop that Linda's using, it makes three and a half dozen. It does not make three and a half for this. This is called, Linda, is this called the large? It's with the large one. That's what I thought. This is called the large um, and I got the cookie medium. scoop. Yeah. And I like the, the medium one better. I'm going to do one more and then. Okay, okay, uh, I put a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll have to get that fixed. Okay, now I take a fork. Now, Mary, you talk about me being fast. You got yours done, and I don't. For some reason, I was having a hard time getting mine. Well, that one there didn't scoop. have enough sugar on it. Sugar. Okay, and then I just take a fork and just kind of mash them down a little bit. They'll spread out some. I don't think that one quite got enough in it. I'm going to redo that one. And you know what? I made the smaller ones when I made them, and um, 10 minutes is plenty time to cook. Now, these bigger ones here might take 12. I don't know, but it'll spread out. Well, I'll get another I'll get fork. That. I'm going to stick this in the oven, 375. And I might have could have got more. I might have could have got more in there uh, than that six, but um, I'll, I'll put this in the sink, this fork. You ready to, for yours? i got to put them in cinnamon. I was going to wash oh, my okay. hands before okay. I did it. Okay. Or you can do it, either one, whichever one you want. Okay. I got a, a clean fork. We'll just put them in here and roll them around. You can take your hands and, and uh, if you get them in, if you get the dough in the cookie scoop um, tight, then you don't have to, you don't have to roll them. I didn't do a good job of no, that, Mary. No, you did good. For, you did good. Uh, for some reason, I was having a hard time with that thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. But you're doing that, I won't get my hands. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. This cinnamon, yeah, this cinnamon will stain your hands. <laughs> so, and Mary, um, in cooking cookies, do you use the bottom rack? Of no, the oven I don't. Are cookies? you supposed to? I don't either. I don't. No. I don't. Yeah. I don't. And cookie baking is a slow process. You can't. When I, I say slow, but it's not slow. It's slow and fast because once you get your cookies ready to go in the oven, you know, it doesn't take them long to cook. Right. And then you're putting another pan in there. It's, you can't really do a lot of things when you're baking cookies right. is what right. I'm trying yeah, to say. Right, right. You just have to take up your whole time, yes. whole day of just doing that. And that's why um, y'all heard us talking about um, on another one of our programs about making the cookie dough ahead of time, mm -hmm. and that way you're baking cookies, you're not making dough and right. baking cookies at the same time. I don't think I'm getting them too close together because I really spread those out, but I got I didn't know for sure how those, those were. Those were the timer, bigger. I didn't put the timer on, Linda. I did not. You did? Okay, okay, thank you, Linda. Little Linda. <laughs> I'll get straight in a minute. 
And you're not going to cook any more of these, no, right? No, not on camera. Okay. Okay, oh, give me the fork. fork. <laughs> All right, I'm through with that. And you might bring a, 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 that dish rag when you put that up to um, wipe off this table, and then we'll sit down and okay. visit a minute and talk and tell them a few things that we're doing, going to be doing. I need to bring Linda some paper towels. I, keep I brought her, her paper towels. I, I, I brought her a roll because we do. We go through a lot of paper towels. I could do without them, but it would be hard because a lot of stuff you don't want to mess up a dish towel, wipe right, it up. Right. So it's just easier to use paper towel. I'll put these. I'll put these over. Uh, That's so pretty. A little bit, little bit better. They they uh, they spread out anyway, but so I don't mash them real flat. I want them a little thick, you know. So. We'll you wait. got some new pictures of Kinley last night, didn't you? I did. I did. I told her, Carla says she doesn't get to see her very often because every time she goes out to see her, she's asleep. Aww. And, uh, and she won't dare wake her up. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, you know what, Linda, I didn't tell you about this, and I don't know if this is something we ought to say on the air or not, but I'm going to tell it because everybody's going to know it anyway. Uh, I was at Walmart yesterday, and there's some, they're doing something different. There's a um, corn so shortage. And uh, she, they told me that Loomis, go ahead, Linda, sit down, told me that Loomis wouldn't leave them any, ch it wasn't leaving them enough change to give change to the customers. And I checked out, and it was just a few things that I was getting, and it was like 1810, was it 1810, 18 something, I believe, 1810. And, um, uh, so I just gave her a $20 bill, and she handed me $2 back. And I said, um, I, I, when I w walked away, I thought, I'm not supposed to, I supposed to got back, what, a dollar and 90 cents or mm -hmm. something like that. And um, I walked away, and I looked at the ticket, and it said uh, something, 94 cents. I may be telling the story a little wrong. She gave me back 94 cents too much whatever, however that figure. She gave me 94 cents back too much. Oh, it was just a dime. And I could have given her a dime, but she didn't say nothing to me. And I walked away and I said, yeah, I thought that she cheated me some money. <laughs> when, when I said that 94 cents, I said, she didn't ask me if they're giving that to a, you know, a, to, to a, a poor family or, or why did they take my change? 94 cents mm -hmm. is what I thought they had taken from me. So I went to the lady that does, uh, that stands by the door and I said, ma'am, I said, why are they taking my change? Because I knew I didn't get no change back. So why are you taking my change? I don't mind giving it if it's for, a, you know, a, a, a good cause, but she didn't even tell me about it. And so um, one of the employees walked up from Walmart and he said, that uh, the same thing happened to one of his customers, and the way he explained it, he said that the customer, it was a dollar and ninety-eight cents purchase, and he handed her back a dollar, and she said, "You gave me back a dollar. You only owed me two cents." I might not be telling this, anyway, because people may. That's just crazy. So, when he said that, I went and looked at the ticket again. And she, and then it clicked on me. They didn't have. They over give you money back because they don't have change. That is so weird. And I said, well, you know, uh, they said that Loomis wasn't leaving them no change. So um, it's just times are just changing. You know, at, Wal at our Walmart, uh, the two self checkouts won't take cash at all. Exactly. It's only credit cards. So um, it's just, I guess, just the times that we're living in. It makes me want to keep my change, you know. Yeah, me too. I've got uh, quite a bit of change. I do too. Because I accumulate so much I do of too. it. That, so, um, anyway, yes. that was, uh, you know, that really, I guess, really wasn't something I ought to be saying, but it was just something that I was going to tell my sister, and I haven't had a chance to talk to her privately. I, well, we were talking this morning, but we were talking business, and, yeah. and I, 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 Linda and I, we tell everybody, we tell each other everything that goes on in our life. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they, we know each other 
because we tell them. Everything that happens to us, we tell it. So now let's talk about our, our videos, our site. Okay, so um, on the way over here this morning, um, I was thinking about, are you talking about what we were talking about earlier? Uh, uh, yes, about the, uh, uh, the uh, deadline, yeah. Okay, so um, and Mary and I always, and, and Mike and I have done it for years, we always try to do something at Christmas, of course y'all know we don't have any kids, but we buy for all I the kids, to do and something we always for, have, but our, we also someone. like to do something for somebody that maybe we don't know, or somebody that, uh, is my mic not doing good? No. Anyway, so we want to do something as Pinky Mom. Yes. yes. So um, what we're going to do, and this is for everybody that watches us, for that follows us, either on any of our pages, on our Pamper Chef pages, or on uh, Pinky Mom's. Yes. But uh, it's going to be fun. done. Uh, Pinky Mom's is doing it. Mary and I are yes. doing it. So um, we were trying to think about something that we could do for somebody. And a needy family. Yes. Some. Um, so we want you to go to our website. You can go to our website. Doesn't and it doesn't cost, cost anything, anything to go to our website. That's PinkyMallsKitchen.com. Yes. And by the way, um, not to be negative or anything, because we have so many loyal uh, viewers and friends that follow us and that watch us uh, on a regular basis. But... Um, um, don't listen or don't don't take everything to heart that people say in these comments because most of the time that there's people that are saying it they're not it's not even true you know so um, if you have a question about something just message one of us and we'll let you know so you can go to our website and it'll there's a button down there that says contact yes, us on our website it's it, there's a um, wording says contact it's under about membership and all that it's on what Bottom of the page, bottom of the it page. says contact, hit contact. So what we're looking for is we're looking for um, a family. It can be a single mother, uh, a newly divorced mother, uh, some a family that's lost everything and maybe from in a fire any, yeah, or from a storm or, or, um, or for whatever reason. Um, you going to get the kids um, we're, But we want you to... Think about it, and if there's somebody that you know, um, we want you to submit a story about them, and I don't mean publicly. We want you to hit the contact button on Pinky Mouse Kitchen, www.pinkymousekitchen.com. If you hit the contact button, it's going to take you to our email. In the subject line, what we want to say... Um, Christmas kitchen wish list, right? Mm -hmm. Christmas kit. Well, it's, it's more than a wish list. It's uh, wish list is fine. It's for a needy family. It's not just for everybody. If you've got a wish, it's different from this. Yeah, we're this talking about a needy family. Or that we want to do. That we want to uh, provide some uh, a box, uh, a nice box. box of kitchen items to someone that needs it right um and we we're we going to go story. through these we, we want, want the story with it um maybe um uh of why this family deserves yes. this box of kitchen items and uh i've found through the years mary that a lot of people that really need stuff they're not the ones they're, that ask for uh -uh. it no they're not. not um so it, it can be someone maybe that's related to you, or maybe it can be someone friend. that you know of through a friend or a neighbor church. or through the church mm -hmm. or community. Mm -hmm. But it needs to have this on the subject line because we get thousands of emails, and the way these are going to be pulled out is by the title that's in the subject line. If you've written an email, it says to, and then it's got a subject, and in the subject line we want Chris, uh, Kit. Uh, Christmas kitchen wish list. It has to ha say Christmas first. Yes. Because we get all kind of uh, emails saying wish list, wish list. So we're, we don't put wish list, put Christmas. Uh, Include story yes. And you need to, in the body of the email, you, you need to include the story and the wish list 
um, that you would like to have. The items that you would like for us to provide. It's for, Pampered Shelf. Anything yes. you know in Pampered Shelf that you think that they would could use or need, that's what we want on that list. Now, Right. Now, now we're not going to guarantee that everything on the wish list will be provided, that we'll give that to them, but we will, go, we will do our, our best, best to provide yes. uh, at least some of the items to, to them. It'll be a nice box, nice box. So um, there's going to be a deadline for this, and if y'all start putting this in the comments or if y'all start texting us or start messaging us, those will not be counted. No. It has to be done in this format, and the reason it does is because we're going to keep all of these in a folder, in an electronic file, and that's where we're going to read these stories, and that's who we're going to choose from. So um, the deadline is going to be December the 1st. It has to be to us by December the 1st. If you contact us December the 2nd, they won't be added because we have to go through them. We're going to read the stories. Uh, Mary and I and her girls, we're going to sit down and we're going to go through them, and then we're going to select yes. one of these um, one of these uh, people that you've submitted to um, to try to help with their with their Christmas. We just wish like list. to do something for someone that really is in need. Yes, and you know. we're not we're not worrying about if if they you know it's this is this is just strictly something that Mary and I want to do. Uh, so. And they can start that today. And we want, yes, and we want the story. We want a story, the reason why that you are, you've selected this, this uh, family. So Those cookies look Don't they so look good? good. Yes, they do. Now, that was the big one. Yeah, this is the big one. Those are beautiful. Sometimes I leave them on the pan a few minutes. To, yeah, you, to let them sit. I, I do. I I'm sure going to go ahead and take them up, but uh, I do sometimes. But those just, are gorgeous. I know they're good. Because <laughs> I've a big glass of cold sweet mm -hmm. milk. Daddy would love them. He yeah, loves he soft would, cookies. You don't have it doesn't take two spatulas to get it. <laughs> yeah, just because they're still a little bit warm. They're still a little bit warm. I would just want to get them want up. Those are beautiful. The cool off. That's so pretty. I know they're so, going to be delicious, too. I'll take this off the table so you can see better. Y'all will notice that cookie. <laughs> Ouch, Mary. Mary's on. <laughs> Did you burn your hand? No, I didn't. <laughs> it, I didn't uh, even get up to help you. That's okay. That's okay. I was trying not to. I, I, what, what That the table. pad was underneath yeah. it. Yeah. So, all right. We just. All right. So um, y'all uh, think about it. Get your stories to us. Make sure there uh, you go to our website and hit and click on contact and send it to us that way. Um, we don't, um, you know, they don't necessarily. Do we want to ask for the mailing information with that? I well, guess we do, don't we? Well, we do need the mailing address, but we might could get that information once. Um, we t once we select it, we'll, yeah, we'll okay. get that information once it's selected. Because uh, it doesn't matter where you're, where they're from. We don't want to uh, to see somebody that. Uh, anyway, we just they we do don't need, care. They we do don't need care to be where. in the United States. In the United yes, States, yes, because we can't mail outside the United States. And we're sorry about that, I but know. but it does need to be somebody in the United States. So. Um, um, the first thing I did when I came in this morning was talk about the weather, and this time of year, um, you were talking about leaves, Mary. I know. I I left Linda's house the other day, and there was a uh, I go I go the back way, and there's a lot of houses in the country, and there was uh, probably at least three different people in the yards raking leaves, and they were burning them. Burning leaves. I I could smell it. It was coming through the air condition, and uh, it made me think so much back in our we childhood. We were kids. We burned our leaves. We didn't bag them up and take them off somewhere. We burned them in the yard. It made me want to come home and start raking and burning <laughs> leaves. I love to smell the leaves. I think, Linda, I think it's because uh, the it brings me back to my childhood. Yeah, that's exactly because we what always it is. Burned. Mama had every one of us, all four of us outside. The day she decided she wanted them <laughs> leaves raked, 
Everybody got out there, and you know what we use for gloves? Socks. Yeah. She, we, we put on a pair of socks on our hands, and we'd all be raking leaves and burning them. And she had us all working out there on the day we burnt, raked the yard. So. We had several trees in our yard yes, too, we did. in Pink Paul's yard. There yes. was that we had a lot of trees. Um, and uh, when Mama was a kid growing up, and some of you older. Um, followers when I say old it's kind of funny because we are old but some of y'all may remember this um, they didn't mow yards when uh, mama was a kid they didn't mow grass they, they didn't, have, didn't, any, have, they didn't have any grass <laughs> they didn't have grass because the chickens they had chickens yeah. free-range well, chickens yeah. and um, I go from one thing to another but they, they had trees and we tried to think of the name of them I think they had cuckaburs or something on them and uh, they would take and they would fall on the ground and Mama and I guess her sisters, and this was customary for a lot of people back then, they would sweep their yard. They yeah. would sweep the dirt with the broom yeah. and make it look real pretty and neat. And yeah. that's what they did with yeah. their yard, especially yeah. around their uh, front door or porch or whatever they had. And I think about that often this time of year. But um, I know uh, those cuckabers are sure ruin your lawnmower blades. Oh. <laughs> Chuck's replaced so many blades on our lawnmower because of... Because I have, to, I have them trees in my yard. I don't know. He told me, he said, you're going to have to buy them. Or he asked me, why don't you buy a basket to pick the leaves up, you know, as, as he's mowing. And uh, so that it won't ruin the blade. And I'm thinking about doing that. With yeah. Just buying a ba uh, leaf catcher, whatever. They, um, uh, you remember the black walnuts, Mary? Yeah, I sure do. Them things are hard to crack. Now, we didn't have a lot of black walnut trees around us, but we did have some. Yeah, yeah because we, we always some. made that black walnut Now, cake. they had them in Arkansas and, and up in that area, um, but we had a few, and they were big. If y'all have never seen a black walnut, they come in a... In a By the size of a they, they tennis come. ball. They're black. They're black, black, and it that stuff yeah. will stain and your yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. It takes a ball bean hammer to break one. <laughs> you have to hit that thing and, and break that black away, and then the the nut is inside, and it's a hard shell. It's, it's hard very break. hard, and it's not that much meat in it. No, and you have to get to, uh, some picks to get it out to get it out. Just down but in there deep. Molly made a black walnut cake. I think it's in our cookbook. She made a black walnut cake every so. year. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. If y'all never, if y'all never cooked or baked with black walnuts, they are very mm, strong. They're strong. They're so they got very they're strong. Oil, got a lot of oil in them. And you can get the little tiny packages. I don't know if they're two ounce or four ounce or what in Walmart around they're this expensive. time of year. And I hadn't bought any. I've got a package in my freezer, but um, uh, they're good. And it sure brings back a lot of memories to us because we had these mm -hmm. when we were kids. Now that but, small pan's only ten minutes. Is that what you put? Okay. But they are they are definitely strong and pecans. Mama would. Am I? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I was just going to tell you uh, your the people on here sweet gum juice. Sweet gum. That's right. Sweet gum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sweet I knew gum. somebody now, out there would know the name. Now of I can hear Mama say sweet gum. Yeah. I just uh, <laughs> thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, do we have any questions? I'm just rambling. Not so far. Just several people have been commenting on. They said some people used to sw their mamas used to sweep the yard, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. and um, and then yeah. several people were telling me it's sweet gum. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all. I, I told Linda when we were sitting here trying to think of the name of it, I said, there'll be somebody out there that will know yeah, what we're remember, talking about. Right, remember. right. But uh, Nacogdoches has a lot of pecan trees. Oh, there's yeah. um, there's pecan trees, trees in the park. In the park, cheeky pin trees, a lot of them died out. Now, I think there's still some way down in the country around mm -hmm. San Augustine or somewhere. But um, but we don't cook with cheeky pin, though. No. That's just a nut that but you don't But they sure are a good snack. Yeah. Um, uh, we got some several years ago. Remember, and I got a sack for Charles and Edward. Just tickled them. Oh, we to got that. Uh, Bobby found one somewhere on. Oh, he mine? heard on. Well, he no, he listened to Swap Shop uh, in Swap Shop on the radio. Yeah. And he found and um, uh, he had it was some kind of farm and ranch something and and he found out where to buy cheeky pin trees and he ordered I think it was five and we got moles because there's cows across in the pasture and they eat those pecan trees up. Uh, it just made him sick because mm -hmm. uh, we didn't. Yeah, he was trying I, to get us some cheeky pin trees. I'd love <laughs> to have a cheeky pin tree. We have so many yeah. good memories 
of chinky pins, but Mama would, even when she was, you know, on up in age, she would go to the park in Nacogdoches and pick up pecans. And the last time I remember picking up pecans with Mama was uh, across from Clear Springs Restaurant in Nacogdoches down by the old um, railroad Hitch depot. Lot. The Hitch Lot. <laughs> It's what we called it. The hit you well, talking about there? No, um, you know Clear Springs, the restaurant. Yeah, I know where it's at. Yeah. Well, right across the creek is the street. The it is right across the creek, but this is before the creek. Okay. There's okay. pecan trees out okay. there, and we uh, we went to eat, and uh, we drove up, and Mama Mama couldn't pick them up, but she watched me pick up pecans, yeah. and I. I oh yeah, I know that. what we're talking about now. There were some trees yeah. across the road from Spring Creek. Yeah. But I love to pick up pecans, and I haven't picked up, I haven't picked any up in years. I, I buy a lot of pecans. Yeah, me too. But um, uh, I try to buy mine either cracked or shelled. I do too. And our cousin, uh, she, I don't know where she gets her Eva pecans. Jo. Eva Jo. I don't know where she gets them, but um, she lives around Hemp Hill, doesn't she? She uh, probably gets them in she South said, Texas she, or in Hill she, Country. She cracks them. And, and, and sells them already shelled. And she shells mm -hmm. them, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and today ain't Laverne's birthday. Today's Aunt Laverne's Aunt Laverne. birthday. She's 90 mm -hmm. years old. 90 so years old. Happy birthday, Aunt Laverne. Happy birthday, Aunt Laverne. And we hoping to go see her soon. I'm not going to commit. I made a mistake last year, last week thinking we was going to get down there and we didn't. So. But her family did a, a little, kind of like a little private party for mm -hmm. her over the weekend. Couldn't invite everybody so what it's they did is there. yeah they had um uh, they had everybody to send cards and she got 130 cards and they made a wreath a door uh, wreath yeah. out of the birthday cards yeah. and it was really really cool and i know yeah. aunt laverne really loved that yeah. i know i'm anxious to see her um so i believe our cookies are ready again and i'm not going to take them off the pan quite yet because it, if y'all if you notice how puffy these are and these kind of fail, that's because I moved them before they set. <laughs> right. <laughs> they moved. So they need to cool just a little bit, not too long, but um, they just need to cool before you pick, try to pick them up. These are beautiful. So, They're so pretty. But, uh, and we want to thank all of our viewers that watch us, that have watched us from the beginning. Um, we have, um, Mary and I have cooked and baked for many, many years, and um, we started doing the videos. For those of you who don't know, we started doing them last summer in during July. the COVID lockdown, and uh, we've had a lot of a uh, lot of our wonderful people that have followed us since the very first one. Yes. So we want y'all to know we love you. We, we also want to thank all the members that have joined our membership. Um, and if you're interested in looking at that, just go to our webpage and uh, click on membership and it will tell you about that. Um, and um, we'll be cooking tomorrow, Lord willing, and the weather is okay, we'll be at my house. Mm -hmm. And if the weather is bad, and I'm going to tell you all something, my sister is like my mama. She ain't scared of the devil. <laughs> now, don't say that. <laughs> That's a that's a paraphrase. <laughs> I am scared of a lot of She's things. She's afraid of the and weather. Bad weather is one of them. And uh, uh, I do not want her and little Linda on the road if the weather is bad because we're expecting hail, high winds, and I already give Mike the instructions. I want everything out of the yard today, the flag down. I don't want him to be out there tonight at midnight with it lightning <laughs> and him picking up because Mike is not scared neither. <laughs> either. And he, I go out on the porch at late at night. It don't bother me. <laughs> Mike like drove me crazy for years after we first got married. He'd walk out in the mid, little, literally middle of a thunderstorm. I won't, do, I won't go outside in the storm. But lightning I'm not afraid striking of it. everywhere. I tell him, you ever get struck by lightning or you see lightning strike in front of you, you're going you're gonna to have a little respect for this thing called East Texas weather. <laughs> but um, anyway. So if that's the case and, and the weather is too bad for us to travel tomorrow, uh, Linda I'll be cooking. Will go, will still, she'll be on live by herself. And, and uh, the only way I wouldn't be is if we were to lose power. Right, right. So, but the plans are for us all three to be together cooking tomorrow at my house. But uh, we do have a backup plan. So, um, let me we, get these cookies off now. If they so okay, about five minutes. See, it just it doesn't take long. They just 
Yeah, that you're right, Mir. That that medium cookie scoop yeah. scoop mm -hmm. is the perfect size yeah, for a, a good cookie. Yeah, these right here. I mean, it might not be for a kid, for a, a big kid, but they're too big for me to eat. This is just right here. These little ones. I call them little ones. Well, <laughs> hey, you know me. I'm gonna drop something on the floor. I, Every video, I drop something. And if you got teeny tiny hands, you can always use the small cookie Yeah, there's scoop, a small one, small Which would be this. about a bite for an adult. Yeah. But it would fit a little kid's hands real good. All right. Do you want to taste one, Linda? I do want to taste one. Taste one that's cooler there. Okay. One of the big ones. I'm going to take a bite. Something? I am going to take a bite of it. All right, let's see it soft in the middle. That's a perfect cookie. And the bigger ones, we cook for 12 minutes. The large, if you use a large scoop, we, we cook them for 12 minutes. to See how soft they are inside? And the, the smaller ones, 10 minutes. What do you think? Delicious. It's good. Thank you, Mark. Yes. These are very, very cooked perfect. You can They're ruin so cookies easy. real easy, but this is a perfect cookie. They're so easy to make. So easy. I mean, I mixed up that dough, the dough that we're eating. I mixed it up, I think, about 15 minutes this morning. It was just real quick. And <clears throat> we forgot to put the vanilla <laughs> on the, <coughs> the website. But that's okay. We'll get it on there. We'll get it on there. Don't forget to count your blessings. I mean, every day you can find something to thank the Lord for. Um, we just, um, we love you followers. We love that all your um, your comments. You're so sweet. Your uh, all your love that you send out and your support. We appreciate that. We do. We really do appreciate it from the bottom of our heart. Yes. Every time you say "Count your blessings," I can hear my mama's voice singing that song. Yeah. Count your blessings. Yeah. Count uh -huh. them one by one. Right. And don't forget to be kind to somebody. You never know what's behind a smile or what a smile might do for a person right. that is really close to the edge. So you don't forget know. that. You never know. Just we love y'all. Bye. Thank y'all. Love you.